Hey everyone, <clears throat> this is my last morning in Switzerland and uh, I'm so excited to be going home. I'm also so incredibly tired. Um, I finished up the clinic about five days ago and um, my flight doesn't leave until today so I had a few days to spend with family, um, a few days to recover from the clinic before I had to get on the plane. Um, my last two weeks at the clinic was incredibly hard. I had some setbacks and um, by my last day on the fourth week I couldn't be more ready to leave and um, I was having a hard time walking, I was having a hard time lifting my arms, lifting my legs. Um, I was so exhausted. Uh, the list just kind of went on and on. <clears throat> I was having IVs every single day. Um, because of the complications, they were also drawing blood every day. I was having neural therapy every day, so I was getting poked, I don't know, five to 20 times in a day with different needles, um, not to mention the other therapies. So um, it was really, really exhausting. Uh, I'm gonna do a video for each week of treatment, but I just kind of wanted to do a fast one um, just because it is my last day here. And as much as I've enjoyed being back in this country with family, um, so, so ready to go home. Um, everyone keeps asking, do you feel better? And I think that is the hardest question I could possibly answer. Um, I've been sick since 2014, so um, it's uh, about four months shy of four years since I was bitten, which is a crazy long time ago. Um, so I haven't really felt normal in a very long time. Um, and then I was on uh, IV antibiotics for a year and a half until I came here. And um, now I'm on my seventh week off of antibiotics, which I haven't done yet either. So. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel right now. I don't know what would be normal for me, so I can't say that I feel better from all the treatments that were done at Paracelsus. Um, a lot of people leave Paracelsus and say they feel so much better, but I think um, for me, that's just not a realistic expectation. That doesn't mean I don't think it helped, but it boils down to my problems, um, the reasons my body wasn't strong enough to fight the infection initially, um, are too deep rooted to just fix overnight or in a few weeks. And um, the damage from having um, been sick with Lyme for so long before it was treated, and also from the antibiotics themselves, um, it's extensive. Uh, the list of problems I've found out that I have goes on and on. Um, I don't have them written down in front of me, otherwise I would list them out, but it's too much to remember off the top of my head. But <clears throat> my number one focus right now is um, rebuilding some of my immune system. 80% um, or so of our immune system lives in our gut. And when they um, tried to measure mine, um, there wasn't, it was, undetectable, there wasn't enough to measure. So that means 80% of my immune system is very, very, very low. Uh, I don't really have much of it in my gut, I guess, which um, needs to be our primary focus first before I can start trying to um, do anything else. Otherwise, my body's not going to be able to tolerate it. Um, so my long story short is, no, I don't feel any better, I don't think I do, I don't think I feel worse, and it's going to be a very, very long road to recovery, and the first thing that needs to be done is um, rebuild my immune system. Um, so, like I said, I'll do more videos about all the therapies I had each week. Um, I'll do another one about um, <clears throat> the problems <laughs> that we've found out I have, which um, it's a pretty big list, but it's, I think in time it's all fixable, so.